Hello, this is going to be a really quick video on how to resolve your caps coming off on the RS cube or the Waylong cube or pretty much anything else. So let's say these caps did just come off really, really easily because I'm going to show you how they're held into place. So, okay. so these guys are only really held into place by these three little pegs that are uh, that come together once the cap is already put into place and they go into these three little slots right here. So what happens sometimes is that these these, either these pegs are either undersized or the slots are oversized. And it happens from time to time because of the manufacturing process. Now, the only way that we can go ahead and resolve this is by introducing more material either in the slots or on the pegs themselves. Now, I like avoiding the pegs themselves because, you know, what if you need to split this in the future or whatever? So we're going to focus in on these slots right here. So what you can do is take some super glue. We're going to go ahead and apply a little bit of super glue just on the sides of the uh, slots themselves. So, and by a little bit of super glue, I mean really a little bit. And what this will do is it'll give it some more material for the pegs to kind of get onto. Now, we don't want to fill up the entire thing with super glue because then there's absolutely no area for the pegs to go into. So, we're just going to go ahead and put in a little bit per side and we're just gonna go ahead and clean them out real quick and we just want to do like a very very thin lining of super glue around this area so grab something thin just kind of spread that around right on the sides and what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this dry completely because what we don't want is to permanently glue the cap onto the puzzle so we're gonna wait a few minutes and we'll be back once that dries. All right, so it's been about five minutes uh, since we put in that super glue. Now we're gonna go ahead and press that back together. Now you may notice that there's gonna be a little bit more force needed to kind of push this piece back into place. That's good because that means that now there's a lot more friction to hold the corner cap into place. So now that it's kind of a little bit stiffer to put in, that's great. We're actually gonna need to apply a little bit more force to kind of get that back into where it needs to go. And we wanna make sure that that is flush all the way around. Now, if you apply too much super glue, what would happen is now that you have like a really clear gap between the cap and the piece center piece itself. And that's what we wanna avoid. So just wanna make sure that that, we don't use a lot of glue to prevent that from happening. So now that that is back on there, that will not come out that easily, but we can still remove it should we need to make adjustments onto the puzzle. So in order to remove it now that it's kind of in there, we can use some kind of sticker razor to kind of help push that up. So I don't have a sticker razor on my person. Actually, I do right here. So what we can do is just use a sticker razor, kind of get underneath here and just push it from the corners right about here to lift that cap back up. That guy is really stuck on there. That's not gonna come out anytime soon, but you can still remove it should you need it or should you need to make adjustments. So that's, the, that's why we wanna keep the, uh, or that's why we want to let the glue dry completely because if we did it while it was still wet, this would be permanently fused onto here and we can't make any more adjustments. Again, we're just trying to introduce more material, not permanently fuse it together. Hope it helps.